we are actually going to be upgrading this week's $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway to four gift cards being given away. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the episode of Last Day on of Survival. Today, we return to boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fan-freaking-tastic day of the most amazing variety that only gets more fan-freaking-tastic from here on out. And most importantly of all, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. I hope you guys are having an absolutely jolly holiday season, spending it with the fam, filled with holiday cheer, presents, hot cocoa, all of that freaking jazz, wishing y'all nothing but the happiest of times over in those types of fashions. Happy holidays if you aren't celebrating Christmas, whatever you are celebrating, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Boxing Day, whatever it might be, merriest of those days to you as well. And if you aren't celebrating none of those things, well, I hope you guys have the greatest Tuesday, December 25th, or potentially later of all time. Me, I'm having a pretty good one because I'm about to go get some revenge and you guys are invited along for the ride. And hopefully if we could get like two red tickets out of this or maybe just get two more red tickets in general, then uh, when we go and kill the blind one later on, possiblemente, we're actually going to be in tip top shape to, uh, well, open up a red ticket crate as well, which is always something that I look forward to and I'm assuming that you guys do as well. And before we commence in today's raid, I also want to let you guys know about something I want to follow up on from a couple of episodes ago as you recall just a little while ago we opened up probably at least in my opinion because uh, to be fair we got ridiculously lucky okay uh some of those amazing christmas pleasure presents slash crates that we were able to cop and over here you guys could see that these are only some of the things we got with these fully modded vsss and scars along with mini uzis aluminum plates mini uzis and along with that too i believe i don't remember exactly what they had but i know they had like steel engine parts and a couple of other valuable stuff like that and i actually want to go ahead and given the fact that it is the holiday season I actually do a couple of things number one so i want to go and let you guys know about this awesome app that will be able to help you go ahead and actually earn gift cards that you could then utilize to get these crates and put them to use your very own way. So what you gotta do is go ahead and go to that link at the very tippity top of the description where you will be able to download it from there. Just go ahead, create an account, and then get on the app, start earning points, doing whatever that it does prompt you to do. And then you could put those points towards those gift cards that I was speaking of. And regardless of what platform you're on, iOS, Android, maybe even something completely different, you go be able to go ahead and bring yourself some holiday cheer and hopefully some of those super amazing christmas pleasure presents i did want to say huge thank you to cash for apps for actually partnering up with me to make this happen and to celebrate this to celebrate the holiday cheer we are actually going to be upgrading this week's 25 dollar itunes slash play store gift card giveaway to four gift cards being given away so huge thank you to cash for apps again for partnering up with us and thanks to you guys hopefully utilizing the app i will be able to then put like some of my referral points back into those gift cards and make this week an absolutely ridiculous giveaway week so like i'm saying go ahead get to it lads and lassies merry christmas yet again wishing y'all nothing but the absolute best but in the meantime we got some stuff to go ahead and wish this fella over here and that is a breaking and entering into his base my name Chaz. hello <laughs> If any of you guys are watching Disenchanted or whatever on Netflix, dude, I'm not gonna lie. I started watching that series. I I didn't expect myself to fall in love with it, but I did. It's been it's been a fun time. But shenanigans aside, you guys might be like, Star, what is this giveaway that you are talking about? Well, usually we have a $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. Well, all you gotta do is go ahead and leave a comment down below. That comment is, put, is going to put you one third of the way into the weekly $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. All you gotta do as well is make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe. That'll enter you in on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick a random video for the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video and that will be widow for the week. And we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. And like I did say, we ain't going to be picking one random video and one random comment. Oh no, we are going to be picking four random videos from this past week. And four random comments total from those four random videos. One comment, a pop, etc, etc. So like I'm, let's freaking go and we get getting some surprisingly decent stuff out of this raid too not too shabby to say the least lads and lassies and the shabbiness only gets less and less dude i'm not gonna lie especially because we didn't have to use any c4 on this raid this is uh not too shabby i'm a little bit happy with the results and oy vey 
my happiness meter, dude. I don't, like. There's no happiness meter in the game. There's a radiation meter. Pretend that's a happiness meter. That thing's at 100 right now, okay? Because this raid is treating us surprisingly nicely. And for the type of raid that it is, which didn't require a single C4, we're walking out of here with some pretty nice stuff, if you ask me. So I'm a little bit happy camp, but I don't know about you. Uh, we do have some zombies we got to take down first and foremost. We have our pupper along for the ride, because you know we had to bring Lexi out to come and play. It is the holiday season. After all, we got to be spreading some of that cheer, and we got to be spreading some of that pistol drizzle as well for the army of fast biters and flota blotas and toxic abominations and everybody coming after us. But the good news is we hide behind this chest, and because these chests are always super wonderful like that, they, these zombies, they cannot fit through here, right? They're a little bit too thick, all right? They thick with three Cs. Luckily for us, we're only thick with two Cs. So we're not too thick to not be able to fit through here, but we're still thick enough to go ahead and do some mad damage on these dudes and walk out of here with plenty of loot, especially because, you know, we rock in that military backpack. I can't wait until we get the next backpack after that, though, especially with that ATV slash swamp update lurking in the shadows and hopefully be in ours soon. Dude, that update is going to be massive. It's going to bring so much awesomeness. I know I haven't talked about it in a little bit of a while, but they've teased and shown off a lot of things that will be a part of it. And I mean, the big takeaway is that it's going to have the next tier of items. It's going to have ash planks and titanium bars. And that means that a lot of crafting recipes are going to be unlocked. And I think that's why this update's taking a while is because since it is going to have new materials, like they probably need to develop all the stuff that's going to have to do with those new materials. Hopefully the repair station, like, Dude, there's going to be so many new potential benches and armors and stuff. So hopefully it's going to be a very, very large update that we are experiencing. And I, I do, I'd love to get some landmines down. I don't think that I have the explosive material or tungsten. So never mind. Landmines that might not be coming in that ATV swamp update. But nonetheless, some dopeness will definitely be a coming. And we got no red tickets out of today, unfortunately. But hey, still all in all, not too shabby. But like I was saying, ooh, we got a little bit of glue too. Like I was saying, with that giveaway, make sure that you guys also have the notification bell hit to stay up to date with every single video. I'll come and turn on for that weekly giveaway to go ahead and stay in the loop for that type of jazz. Merry, merry Christmas, me lads and lassies. But uh, yeah, go ahead and make sure that you're doing that to stay in the loop, not just with every video that y'all can enter and unfold the weekly giveaway, but also all the other dope survival games that are going up on the channel that I think you may or may not be thoroughly enjoying. Go ahead and give them a chance if you haven't already. And on top of it all, it's a great way to stay up to date with all the latest. And ah, I'm dying. Do I have water? Hello, water. Oh, thank you, bottle of water. This is what I like to see. It keeps me alive. Yes, yes, keeps me alive. I don't know why I said that so weirdly. Don't judge, all right? I'm in the holiday cheer or whatever. Uh, but let's go ahead and get our bootes up in here so we can get rid of some of the more useless stuff that we got. But that notification bell is also going to be a great way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of Last Down Earth information as we are constantly staying in the loop as soon as new information comes out pertaining to the game. We are always sending it your guys' way, not just that. A lot of times screenshots and stuff come out that we also do break down and make sure that, you know, we also connect it to other stuff that's been teased in the past to give us the best look at what is to come. And on top of it all, as soon as new things do come in the form of updates and sometimes even surprise stuff that doesn't even necessarily need an update like how i think that the santa zombie or whatever is going to be coming in this next update because as we saw we still have not gotten the santa zombie from the winter update man or from the teaser from it kafir has been teasing it a lot it doesn't make sense for it to come after so I, like after Christmas too far so it's Christmas day I wonder if it's gonna come out later today and we're gonna be able like I here's the thing it might be like that update kind of like the abandoned house update where it just kind of pops up like you don't even have to update your game it's just like an event that all of a sudden starts popping up so that might be something to keep our eyes and ears peeled upon but just another thing that I want to toss out there but like I'm saying as soon as anything new comes out you know we are all over the case having a fan freaking fantastic time with every single little bit of it spreading some holiday cheer having some fan freaking fantasticness some positivity and overall just a super joyful time and it's always fun checking out new things because whether it be like new items like if you guys if you guys haven't seen it already dude the latest westland video westland survival that has the greatest holiday update of all time man i don't know why last day on earth can't do good holiday updates because westland survival has spoiled me right it's been a little bit of a while since we hopped into westland but oh my god if you guys want to see what a holiday update should be like just head over to westland because uh, it's ah oh man it's 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 good 
is good. Although I guess I shouldn't judge yet because Last Day on Earth still does have this second phase with that Santa boss zombie and potentially like those other two images that they teased. Like there was that elf looking thing and also like the blind one and like a little winter coat winter jacket something like that so there might still be some things in store but westland already man has a knockout update i think we're gonna be checking out grim soul in just a little while as well so another thing to go ahead and keep your eyes and ears peel the pot as well but like i'm saying whenever anything new does come to last day on earth or even any other game like that that we are currently in the midst of playing we always checking it out showing it off making sure that you guys know what you're getting into should you yourselves be trying to accomplish anything with it and just kind of know if you're like maybe worth it like certain things that you might want to do or might not want to do and hello hello we got some semi-decent things up in here so we've pretty much broken through everything that we've wanted to break into like yeah 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 there's not much more to break into so i mean it's an okay base i'm not gonna lie here's the thing when it comes to these number one it's a revenge raid and number two i didn't use any c4 and number three, I got a lot of pistols out of this. So, like, all in all, today was, it, it was a good raid. Was it the, I mean, was it the best raid in the world? No, but for a raid that didn't require us to use any of our stockpiled C4, the fact that we're walking out of here with, I mean, we got the, we got our AK back, we got this back, we got our aluminum back, which is the usual thing we offer up to the raiders. But the fact is, we're walking out of here with another four pistols. They kind of dinked up, but still, four pistols and an m16 along with a couple of other like miscellaneous loot here or there i don't know about you guys that's a pretty that's a pretty good w for not having to use any c4 because this is the type this is the type of raid that anybody can do you don't because like iron hatchets and normal hatchets those are not too wild too crazy to craft so i don't know i like when reasonable raids like this happen and they aren't total trash you know what i mean because usually if there's not if there's not really stone walls protecting anything uh, I'm not gonna lie boys the loot usually isn't that great but today we got a little bit of an exception which is actually really cool so hey I'm walking out of here relatively happy hopefully you guys are too I guess I'll grab those three med kits like there's not really anything else that much better to grab out of here we've probably grabbed pretty much the best stuff I guess we could grab some of these yeah yeah I'm, I'm cool with grabbing like a stack of that and maybe skedaddling the hell out of dodge is that the power move? Is that the power play for today? Well, actually, first things first, I'm eating up all your beans. Boy, I am filling up on my hydration and my food before I get out of here, all right? I'm sorry, man. I'm hungry. Thank you for the Christmas dinner. I appreciate it a ton, my dude, Ski. All right, you have yourself a favorite fantastic time there. Merry Christmas, Mr. I actually have no clue how to pronounce this guy's name because I think it was like in Russian. And, uh, well, I don't understand those letters, unfortunately. They're very cool letters. It's a very cool language. But it's not a language that my mind can currently wrap itself around. Although, Russian would be a super awesome language to learn at some point, man. Honestly, I'd love to. I already know Polish. I am Polish, which is kind of like... Polish and Russian are very close to each other because they're both, like, Slavic. Although, Polish kind of, like, uses a different alphabet, which makes them, like, seem a lot more different than they are. But, like, sometimes, like, you know, I'll pick up on a Russian word that someone will say, and I'll be like, hey... It sounds familiar. And what do you know? It kind of has like a similar meaning to what it does in Polar. So, Slavs unite! <laughs> but let's go and make our way back home. Drop off some of these goodies that we got in store before today. And uh, then we got a bunker to go over to. And over to the workbench we go to put some modifications on our shotgun rain that you know we're going to be utilizing to bring plenty of pain to the lad known as the blind one but first things first let's actually go and get y'all a bunker code for today as well today's bunker code is going to be 09067 in case you guys are in need of that if that's out of date by the time you're trying to put it in make sure to check that comment section down below for one up today version brought to you by the fan freaking fantastic community here at the snipe gang not to mention if you guys haven't already copped a peek go ahead and cop a peek near the top of the description as well and hello hello we got some profitable detours we might need to make so first things first we're going to the gas station because I actually got some stuff we should be able to trade in and hopefully pop some stuff open and I forgot to give this meat to my dogs god dang and I knew I was forgetting something I always do I feel like I always forget one small detail every time I leave my base and this time it just so happens that it had to do with food but uh 
hey so be it i guess let's head over to this gas station like i was saying near that top of the description as well in addition to that awesome app you guys can go ahead and cop for yourselves there's also going to be a link to cop some of the hottest merch in the world right now in the form of that marvelous shotgun rain star snipe merch great potential present for the holiday season spoil yourself a little bit you know something like that we put some awesome work into it with some very talented designers thank you guys will enjoy it if you haven't had the opportunity or the pleasure i suppose of copping a peek at it yet in addition to some star snipe blend shotgun rain coffee that we were able to help design and put together our very selves with the help of partnering up with gamer grind which was an absolute joy to do because i took a coffee class last semester it was a ton of fun i feel like i mentioned that a decent amount of times so if you guys haven't already make sure to go and give that a cop as well or at least a look and we also do have those awesome shotgun rain coffee themed mugs that i think y'all will enjoy and that one's a little bit more like you don't even necessarily have need to like coffee you know mugs Mugs are a very versatile thing. Like, oh, what is this? A liquid I need to hold. Well, bada bing, bada boom. A mug is the solution to whatever liquid woes you might have. So, uh, 10 out of 10 would cop a mug again. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know, man. I've just really been enjoying that coffee, too, because I'm a coffee maniac, man. I drink way too much on the daily. That's the only way I could keep up with the insane amount of videos we got going up. Got to make sure that we as wide awake as possible. So shouts out to Coffee for being a big help over in that. And okay, that zombie did not notice us. That was the one thing I was kind of worried might happen. But yeah, it's just been awesome waking up and actually being able to like make my own coffee. Like literally my own coffee every single day. And it is very tasty. Let me just say mix it up with a little bit of that flavored creamer. Because I like having a little bit, you know, a little bit of additional flavor up in the coffee as well. But that's just like a meat type of thing. By no means do you have to do that should you choose to uh, cop such things. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I like coffee. Hello to you, mechanic. I also like mechanics boxes. Oh, Merry Christmas to you too. Can I get some extras for free here? Oh, actually, no. This is this is a good Christmas present. Never mind. This is a bad Christmas present. Oh my God. Oh yeah, good Christmas present again. Oh, uh, bad again. Good again. Woohoo! All right, so what? We got like four motorcycle blueprints up in here. That is a motorcycle upgrade we have in store for ourselves as well. But, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and continue utilizing these. And our military motorcycle now should be level 2. Coming up on Mythical level 3. But let's go and make our way over to that chopper event. Well, we still have the opportunity. Let's hop onto this bad boy. Come on, puppy. Man, I wish... You know what I need? I need, like, a basket to have my dog ride on the motorcycle with me. I feel so bad. Like, I want him to come along for the ride, man. He's just over there doing his own shindig. Hello, rest stop don't think i forgot about you i know you like to contain very good loot and well i am on a quest to go and kill someone who happens to be blind that really sounds awful out of context but i'm on a quest to kill such a lad and uh well you might be able to help me out here maybe spread a little bit of holiday christmas cheer with some good loot oh yeah this is a 50 50 either these guys are going to be douche nozzles and mug us or they're going to be cool dudes and ask for help and i'm not going to help them because, well, I don't know. Because they've, like, attacked me the other half of the times. So, you know, just a little bit of revenge. Uh, oh, they're attacked. This dude. Oh, my God. What's the last time you guys got attacked by zombies? I feel like I'm getting betrayed and attacked by you guys constantly at this point. Oh, my God. Absolute savagery. Well, luckily, we only had to use one medkit throughout that whole debacle, man. No wonder I leave y'all for dead. You don't even ask for my help anymore at this point. You just go straight to shooting. To be fair, though, I may have brought this upon myself because... I always just let them die and then steal their stuff when they're on the verge of death. <laughs> I'm a savage, man. I'm sorry. The loot is so nice, you know? And to be fair, they started it. They attacked me first. Maybe. I don't remember, dude. The chopper event started a long time ago. We've been doing it since day one, but uh, I do not entirely recall who attacked first. Who shot first? Was it Luke? Was it uh, uh, the other guy? God dang it. I forget the name of the other guy. It's the... Yeah, Star Wars reference. Just roll with it. <laughs> but we already got us a fully modded M16, which is not too shabby. And along with that, I believe we also got a machete, right? So I think we should be more than well equipped for what? The blind one. Sorry about that burp again. We'll have in store for us. Let's go and do a quick loop-de-loop -loop and make our way over 
to that fateful place. And we return over to the bunker. Sorry if the audio sounded a little bit weird for the first half of the video. My mic was actually messed up. There was a weird setting that was turned on, so I had to turn that off because I had to restart my computer. And whenever I restart my computer, my mic always messes up royally. So hopefully, I think it should still sound okay but hopefully now we're sounding as we always do. So apologies about that to my most wonderful of lads and lassies, but let's go and take out these frustrations of ours over here on the blind one. Well, actually, have we activated hard mode already or is that not yet active? I believe, okay, we haven't activated it. Let's go and activate it and say hello to a little one who happens to be blind and also not so little. He's actually a rather big boy. I'm not gonna lie, he's been, uh, whew, he has been growing, but yeah, apologies about that. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. Hopefully you guys could bear with because I had to restart my computer because I was actually recording a very special video that required a computer restart here or there. You know, it's just, my setup was really weird yesterday. I had to do a lot of things, but you guys are gonna see why in an upcoming video, hopefully within the next couple of days of showing off just something ridiculous. And when you guys see it, you're gonna be like, wow like like wally or something you know <laughs> you guys know what i'm talking about wally that goof that goof that doofus of a robot wow i hope i'm thinking of the right robot even the right pixar movie or whatever but all right we got some stuff we gotta clear we got some people we gotta kill except luckily they ain't people so we ain't going to jail or nothing they zombies all right the government they need these people dead and also, I don't think the government exists at the moment. There's the military, at least the remnants of it, that we continue slowly discovering and coming across. And dude, I can't wait for more military events and just military camps and just the further watch. Hello, I like what I see. Further watch that faction just get fleshed out within the game. Because, I mean, I think we've pretty much encountered the main factions that the game has to offer. I think the main ones are just going to be kind of like, I guess there's like two and then like a little bit of a third one. So the main one, of course, we have the military. They have multiple locations and events dedicated to them. Then we have the raiders as well. They have literal, uh, like one of the biggest just types of events that the game has to offer in the form of actually going out and doing base raids. We encounter them at farms. Like, the Raiders are obviously another faction. And then on top of it all, I think I'll kind of just, like, do a little little miscellaneous faction for everybody else. That kind of, like, quote-unquote other faction that just everyone else falls into is kind of, like, their own little survivors doing their own thing. And I think that there might actually be yet another faction in the works as well that we should keep our eyes and ears upon. And that is going to be the faction available over at The Hub the new location kind of like central type of town city that is making its way over to the game as well that they've teased a decent amount that we know is gonna have some very cool things available over there such as uh what's the thing that i'm thinking of i know they're gonna have like zombie battles where you could like watch zombies battle each other and literally like bet on them there's gonna be like a casino location you could go to in there and i don't know what type of currency you're gonna be betting or what the currency is gonna be over there so that's gonna be another cool thing to see because i don't think you're gonna be like betting actual money i don't think it's gonna suddenly turn into like real life gambling i do think it's gonna be like some kind of in-game currency that you could maybe exchange and you know is used throughout that town and that's where maybe like you could trade that currency that you earn through haggling and bargaining and casino gambling and betting on battles and all that type of jazz you know it'll be a type of currency that you earn through activities like that and then you could even go ahead and uh, dish out and put to use through uh, some traders or some shops that I'm guessing will be available over there as well that might only take the currency that the hub kind of like functions and is like central around you know I don't know but anyways like I, I guess that's just like a short little summary about the hub for those of y'all that might not know about it but a uh, long story short once that kind of gets brought into the fold i'm guessing that's gonna kind of be like an entire faction too because that's gonna be like an entire small civilization you know that kind of like has their own town and stuff going on that's it's a pretty big deal you know that's not like your usual run of the mill like oh here we are just some random dudes no it's like oh this is like this is a town like this is a freaking society and that's why i'm really looking forward to seeing what it has man and no my puppy my puppy isn't coming to battle the blind one i feel betrayed lexi how could you do this to me no well it's okay i got some shock and rain i will be dishing out in your name and do none of my shock and rain there we go we got a couple of criticals but wow None of our shock and rain was getting criticals. We hit this man six times. We had one critical, so let's hope this time around. Shotgun rain 
Oh, baby, shotgun rain was nasty this time around. No, 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 blind one. Not today. Shotgun rain is here and it is ready to take you down a notch. Or, I mean, if we're doing this much critical damage, this man's not going to be taken down a notch. He's going to be taken down an entire ladder. Absolute insanity, dude. Even more criticals. That's why I love this shotgun rain setup that we have is because it maximizes your critical chance. And as you guys are seeing, out of all the shots we're firing so far, around half of them have been critical. And it pretty much doubles our damage. And that's a lot when you consider the fact that we are dealing with something known as a shotgun rain. AKA one of, if not the highest damage weapons available in the game. I guess, except for the grenade launcher, that's a little bit of a different story because it's a literally an explosive. You launch a grenade, you know, kind of a little bit self-explanatory there. And shotgun rain, blind one. Goodbye, Merry Christmas to you. Get your head out of the wall, boy. What is that doing up in there, buddy? He has been defeated. We got some hard mode items to go ahead and turn in, and we also have an episode to start bringing to an end for today's last day on Earth Adventures. Like I'm saying, nothing but the merriest of Christmases. So also, if y'all remember to go in and cop that app from the very tippy top of the description and start working your way towards some of that free stuff so you can go and redeem it and you know you don't, you don't even have to necessarily use it on last day on earth you could use it on anything but whatever you do choose to redeem it and use it on best of luck to you guys having the greatest of times with what you do get out of it merry christmas again best of luck in the four gift card quadruple gift card giveaway going on this week all four winners being announced on saturday spreading some of that holiday cheer and whatnot can't wait to hear what y'all gotta say in that comment section down below today i'd love to hear maybe hey what was the best present you got if you were celebrating christmas or if not maybe uh i don't know just what you got going on today hopefully nothing but smiles laughs and some fan freaking tasticness going your way but best of luck to you guys and gals again the chopper gas tank and joining the chopper squadron best of luck bringing your pup getting the true friend perk loving up your own perks and skills not to mention find the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got best of luck building up your base going out on the dopest of raids defeating all the bosses that the game has to throw at you and getting past the multiplayer wall and most important of all having yourselves an absolutely fan freaking fantastic time all throughout not to mention best of luck in the quadruple 25 dollar itunes slash play store a gift card giveaway but it's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me for now thank you guys a whole ton for watching huh this was an awesome one i'll talk to the next one see ya